Doctor Strange 2, we got uh, a big trailer for the Super Bowl. Oh. I, I've seen it multiple times, and the amount of stuff that's going to be going on in this movie and the ideas of certain comic book characters that they've shown us. Um, Brian, this this is going to be... <laughs> This is certainly a billion dollar film. I yeah, I think so. I think it's, I think it's, we had this discussion. I think one five is going to be tough, but I definitely think one to one two. I think that's where we're, where we're looking. I think this trailer, I think this, tra- this I've been trying to think about their marketing here. This trailer definitely is the trailer. So the one they showed at the end of No Way Home, good for wetting the appetite. But I said to you at the time, No Way Home was such a high that like, I don't think a trailer at the end of that movie could have possibly like made you even more geeked up. If that makes sense. The movie itself was so good and so fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, you had a chance to like focus just on this movie. And I have this image of like the parliament in the room editing this trailer, being like, just laughing, being like, oh, let's put in, let's put in this, let's put in this Easter egg. Let's, let's screw with the people here. Let's just, let's have Patrick Stewart's voice show up here. Like, like the the amount of directions this could go in, like they're enjoying it, man. They realize that the fear, the fear, they're probably not going to be able to satisfy all the theories, but the theories are going to get people to buy tickets. And at the end of the yes. day, ducats are what, what they're after, right? And so, <laughs> mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we're going to get a similar sort of atmosphere when it comes to some of these appearances that we'll see in, in Multiverse and some of the awe that people will experience when seeing this, what transpires in this film is, I think, is just, this is just made for the theater experience. And I think... Uh, what we got in Endgame, Infinity War, No Way Home, the the, the surprises and the, the 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 enthusiasm for the stuff that we're going to see in these films, um, it, it's just they 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 can't miss, I, I guess, with this and 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 theories all over the place. With this, they can this miss. Movie. I don't totally yeah, agree. They, with they, that. They, they, they can be, they can miss. This could be a mess. This could be a mess. I'm not saying it will be, but I'm saying there's a way that a movie of this nature could be sure. too cluttered and confusing to where you're sure. like, okay, I had fun, but I have no idea what just happened. Like, and like you're not viewing that as a pantheon movie. And this is this is where my confidence comes from because all the stuff that they did with Loki, with No Way Home, they did things very elegantly in their explanation that we weren't lost granted multiverse is a very complicated uh uh it's a very complicated uh story or 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 event that's occurring with this film and I find it difficult for them to, they can mess it up, but I find it difficult to believe that they will because of the other stuff that we seem to be, or we've thought of, oh, this is just too much. I don't know how this is going to work. I have my concerns. And they totally negate all those concerns and give us something amazing. And I think when you add up all the variables, Sam Raimi, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, some of the, ca- the, the the cameos, the Illuminati stuff that we're going to see, all this stuff, I think there's just going to be a lot of, we're going to be glued to the screen. And I, I don't think, I don't think this movie will disappoint. Okay. So let's try to unpack a few things here. Uh, mm-hmm. First of all, I think, what if, big winner of this trailer. Oh yeah. Big winner. Because, and I link this to the lead. I think Benedict Cumberbatch and Elizabeth Olsen are going to have the most fun in this movie playing the other version of themselves. Themselves, because yes. Because both, 
the evil Scarlet Witch and Strange Supreme look awesome. Like yes. you look at those, they, they, the second they show up on screen, you're like riveted in a way yes, that yes. Doc Strange and Scarlet Witch, the good version, you're kind of like, I know them, they're fun, but it's the mm-hmm. other two I think that are going to make the stars kind of, you know, really shine. So again, if you haven't seen What If, like, I kind of feel like it almost becomes necessary viewing for you to get watch it. Yes, yes, for yes, Strange yes. Supreme. Yes, 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 yes. Definitely, definitely. Not to mention, not to mention, uh, Captain Carter, I guess, is in this movie? Possibly, yes. So, if she's on the poster, so, another, that's the what-if <laughs> premiere. So, I'm just saying, like, and, you know, and which which officially has me on the lookout for The Watcher. I'm just going to say that. Yeah. I, I still maintain Jeffrey Wright did not sign up to be a voice-only character. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm telling you, like, what to me, like, I watch this trailer. And I'm like, you, you, you kind of have to go back to what if and be like, all right, I can be fresh on that show going into this movie in case they pull more stuff yeah. from that, you know, from that mythology. So anyway, that that was number one. What what was your reaction seeing like the lead, like the lead characters? So we got Strange, Scarlet Witch. Let's say those are the two kind of Avengers leads in this. How excited are you to see, you know, kind of the alter egos of both of those i'm just I'm, I'm, I'm listen when she was talking to dr strange she was telling him when you do something you be you the hero and when yeah. i do something is 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 i'm the enemy that doesn't seem fair you can tell that she is not saying it in a way like she's not gonna do something about it she's gonna do something about it it's like she's at a point where nobody's gonna control what she does you know it, it, it's it's setting up for something big People are saying that she may be the true villain of this movie. I don't know. Maybe. Um, people talking about no more music. Uh, when, listen. No. We, we, no, we, please, no. No, no. Brian, you and I have to have a conversation about the X-Men and how difficult it is to bring them back into the fold. Mm-hmm. Is, is it, this, I was watching the X-Men. Listen, for the past week, I've been watching the X-Men the animated series. Um, and there's just greatness in there, man. There's just greatness. <laughs> if you listen, if you haven't watched X Men the Animated Series, you got it's must see TV. The, the 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 way they talk and the problems that they the inner yeah. the the inner uh, um, um, feelings that these guys these characters have they're all very unique and the the questions that they ask are just is it this is very difficult for for marvel to bring them into the fold and and is it that's not going to happen anytime soon so hopefully we have a a show where we talk about the difficulties in bringing the x-men back into the marvel cinematic universe and how they're going to do it and and what does it need to be in order for it to be successful but for dr strange 2 man multiverse of madness uh i'm expecting big numbers um and I think a lot well, of people I, are going to show show up to see this. I was going to say that 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 quote you were referencing. We had heard rumors that Elizabeth Olsen and Benedict Cumberbatch kind of were going to throw down in this movie, yeah. and yeah. like that quote and that scene made me think that that's what's behind that. That's what yes. that's after that. And I was like, I'm all I'm here for a maxed out. You know, as we said, like when it's not their true Avenger self fighting i think the stakes are much higher because then if you have like a good strange and a bad scarlet witch or a a good scarlet witch and strange supreme they can really go at it um and hopefully we see something cool the effects look great the rain like some of the rainy effects and some of the the wackiness of it you know like like i think the witch which is fantastic um so all right so you 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 opened up the the x-men can of worms so let's let's start let's do the preamble to that discussion right here which is that clearly is Patrick Stewart's voice. So the question yes. is, what Patrick, what Professor X is, what Charles Xavier is this that we're seeing? Mm-hmm. And, you know, to your point, which I think is one of the best points about this whole process is, you know, for a whole generation of people, Professor X is Patrick Stewart. So how does more, and, you know, Patrick Stewart's not, he's pretty old. Like he's still 
he's still very much, you know, delivering good stuff. I and mean, he's going to have Picard yeah. and he's going to have, I guess he's going to have this movie, but they've got to be able to grow past Patrick Stewart yes, too. Yes. And they obviously tried to do it with James McAvoy on the Fox side, but you know, it's hard. Like it's, Patrick Stewart looks like comics, Charles Xavier in, mm-hmm. in his wheelchair form. So like, how did they, how do they, if they're going to use him, how do they then grow this character into a new version that people love and, and embrace? That's not kind of, tied down by what Patrick Stewart did so well with this character for 20 years. I think they're going to put this in his own sort of bubble, I guess, in the multiverse and not let it leak out into other things. Because like you said, Patrick Stewart is old, is, you know, he's, he's, he's older chap, you know, and uh, when we finally get the X-Men, that character has to be a mainstay and certainly we're going to get um multiple movies of the x-men because again if you watch the x-men animated series it's like they go through so much um i i've never been uh, opposed for them to bring back james mcavoy or, or perhaps even bring back um uh, fassbender for magneto because i thought they played those characters fantastic they were fantastic in in those roles so i wouldn't be opposed to that but how do they do it i don't know obviously the multiverse but how you know um that's a lot of questions and listen for those people out there who think i don't believe it to be the case but this doesn't get resolved at the end of this your thoughts no, I don't think there's any way. Plus, you've got, you're introducing America Chavez. We got our first look at her in this trailer. As you said, there's a Captain Marvel somebody. Doesn't look like Brie Larson. You said a lot of people saying it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, Monica Rambo. Um, there's too much here. There's no, there'll be like a, I don't know what you call it, like a stalemate resolution, some kind of chapter ending that they can work with but it clearly yeah. is going to have way more bigger picture questions yeah. than answers. Um, so yeah, no, I, I, and I'm fine for this particular movie. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with yeah. that because this movie is much as much an intro to cinematic multiverse, right? If Loki was the intro to like Disney plus multiverse, this is the intro to big screen multiverse. So yeah. Um, yeah, in that sense, it shouldn't have an ending. Um, yeah 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 i mean you got kang still running around there's a lot there's a lot for it to just be resolved in this one film um certainly uh, like you said it's gonna have some sort of uh um resolution that leads to other things um but not totally multiverse resolve Uh, to me it's just an impossible thing to do given that you have all this other stuff happening right um it's, it, i'm just fascinated by how they're going about doing this because we still don't know again the theories are out there are, are crazy nobody knows what's going to happen everybody has good theories but we really don't know how they're going to go about doing this and i think that's one of the biggest selling points right there brian for this film is that we don't know there's so much going on we see characters that we barely see. We don't know who they really are. Obviously one that we know for sure, but who are those other people sitting um, for this, uh, I guess, trial or this judgment against Dr. Strange for whatever it is that he did. Um, So. Yeah. We didn't talk about Baron Mordo, but uh, Chiwetel is is in the movie. And I think the other thing you're making, you're making a very good argument for without, specifically saying it is this is why i don't want a lot of cameos in this movie like because this trailer underscores how much this movie's main narrative has for us to kind of sink our teeth into so i don't want to spend 15 minutes or 20 minutes of this film ha ha at tom cruise or emily blunt or whoever else they get to be 
an alternate universe Avenger. Like it's it, it's cool, but I just am like I don't want to get bogged down in that when this trailer is clearly showing you this movie has a lot of ground to cover, and I'm really and we're really interested in that ground. We don't need 27 cameos for this movie to be sold, but they're clearly going to do some cameos because they want to again increase box office and sure if word gets out that tom cruise is going to be in the iron man suit for even two scenes yeah that'll sell some tickets i don't disagree yeah i i, I mean if he's in the movie it'll probably be for a short sequence he's probably who knows he's probably one of the guys sitting down at, at, in that that chamber um what is do, do we know the running time for this movie we do not I would guess it's going to be at least two and a half, though. I don't think it'll be as long as the Batman, but I would guess it's probably between two thirty and you know two thirty-five, somewhere around there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think uh, of Doctor Strange two and that 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 trailer. I gotta call my source and find out and, and get some confirmations. Uh, that's what I gotta do. <laughs> I tried calling today and I and I didn't get her. Uh, 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 no, they didn't pick up. But uh, I'm gonna keep on calling and see if I can get some some news and, and confirm some stuff, like we did last time with the three Spider Man and Charlie Cox being in No okay. Way Home. Yep. 